Did Meghan set up Harry's ex with one of her divorced pals? Chelsea Davy, 32, is spotted in passionate clinch with Dashing TV producer, 44. Has Meghan Markle found a cunning way of making sure Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy is off the scene? For I can disclose that Chelsea is enjoying a passionate romance with the former husband of one of Meghan's pals. Chelsea, 32, is courting Dashing TV producer James Marshall, 44, who is married to Aletta Wiedemann, granddaughter of Hollywood icon Ingrid Bergman. Zimbabwe-born Chelsea ensured all eyes were on her as she indulged in a public display of affection with Marshall in Soho, London. He kept a firm hand on her derriere as they kissed. Meghan is a good friend of James and his ex, Eletra. She asked her to curate an insider's guide to Paris for Meghan's lifestyle blog, The Tig. The food, the accent, the Jane Nice qua of the women with their inherent chicness. I sigh on petty poo just typing this, gushed Eletra, whose mother is actress Isabella Rossellini. It's not clear if Meghan introduced Chelsea to James, but this keeps everyone happy, comments one of their social circle. James was born in Windsor and raised by a single mother. He met a letter at a 2007 ball at Hampton Court Palace hosted by former Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. They separated in 2015 after three years of marriage. Stella's Botox riddle. Her father sang Can't Buy Me Love, but ethical fashion designer Stella McCartney seems to have been able to acquire a strikingly different face. And now Sir Paul McCartney's 44-year-old daughter has been criticized by someone who supplies her with organic beauty products for allegedly using cosmetic treatments. I'm very disappointed with Stella who advocates, you know, natural, vegan, and suddenly. Alexander Brawny tells me at the launch of the Social Climbers Handbook by Nimrod Kamer. Stella, above, does have plumper cheeks, a smoother forehead and fuller lips than she once had. Asked if she has had Botox, Brawny says, I think so. She's surrounded by Hollywood stars. First time you say, no, second time, no, but the sixth time you're, like, do it. The smart set's talking about the Duke of Wellington's racy niece. Once upon a time, the daughters of our aristocracy would come out by being presented to the monarch in their best ball gowns at Buckingham Palace. Today's Debs mark the start of the social season by posting racy photographs on social media. Day Eleanor Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington's 22-year-old niece. She's become the talk of London's Beaumont with her bikini selfies on Instagram and larks with blue-blooded pals. Eleanor, whose father is the Duke's brother, Lord Christopher Wellesley, is due to graduate from Exeter University this summer with a history of art degree. When she moved into the house she shares with four girlfriends in Devon, Eleanor posted a snap of them and teased. 100 likes for the naked version. A keen polo player, she is also a dog lover but, sadly, had to say goodbye to her faithful friend Lola in 2016. But she is not short of shoulders to cry on. Having previously courted fellow student Ed Taylor, she is now being squired by a stylish Oxford graduate, Heritage de Valenque, 23. Last week, Eleanor, whose cousin Sophia is married to crooner James Blunt, wrote an online diary about her trip to the American music festival Coachella where she rubbed shoulders with Leonardo DiCaprio and models du Gigi and Bella Hadid. She recounts, After a wild weekend we went straight to the Beverly Hills Hotel for four days of poolside relaxation. It has not always been an easy life, though. When Eleanor was nine her father divorced her mother, Laura, and married his French mistress, Emma Nethercott, who was then 28. Very modern manners. Former Strictly Come Dancing contestant Micah Paris claims trendy bisexuals are making modern dating too difficult. It's tough out there, the soul singer. 49, tells me, you don't know who's straight, you don't know who's gay, everyone looks metrosexual. Divorced Micah, who once enjoyed a fling with a Prussian royal, adds, it's not cool to be straight anymore. I feel like we're being forced to be genderless and have non-binary sexuality. Easy for her to say.